Let us look to the Lord in prayer. Precious Heavenly Father, as we come together in your presence to worship and adore you yet again this morning, be with us, bless us. In the precious name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Let's all listen to an opening hymn. chapter 4 verses 1 to 11. Today's New Testament reading is taken from Revelations chapter 4. After this I looked and behold a door standing open in heaven and the first voice which I had heard speaking to me like a trumpet said come up here and I will show you what must take place after this. At once I was in the spirit and behold a throne stood in heaven with one seated on the throne, and he who sat there had the appearance of jasper and carnelian, and around the thorn was a rainbow that had the appearance of an emerald. Around the throne were twenty-four thrones, and seated on the thrones were twenty-four elders, clothed in white garments with golden crowns on their heads. From the throne came flashes of lightning and rumblings and pearls of thunder, and before the throne were seven burning torches of fire, which are the seven spirits of God. And before the throne there was, as it were, a sea of glass, like crystal. And around the throne, on each side of the throne, are four living creatures, full of eyes in front and behind. The first living creature like a lion, the second living creature like an ox, the third living creature with the face of a man, and the fourth living creature like an eagle in flight. And the four living creatures, each of them with six wings and full of eyes, all around and within and day and night they never cease to say holy 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 is the lord god almighty who was and is and is to come and whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to him who is seated on the throne who lives forever and ever the 24 elders fall down before him who is seated on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever they cast their crowns from the throne saying worthy are you our lord and god to receive glory and honor and majesty for you created all things and by your will they existed and were created here ends the reading let us look to the lord in prayer may the words of my mouth and the meditations of our heart be acceptable unto thee o lord our rock and our redeemer amen today we reflect on worship as a celebration of the faith of the people. Revelations chapter 4 When you try to understand the wonderful imagery of worship, 
there is at least two contextual realities we should keep in mind. The context in which the text was written. One, it was written perhaps by John the Evangelist, who was in exile in the island of Patmos. In the Greece island, facing the sea and seeing Asia Minor on the other side, he was seeing all the pomp and glory of the Roman Empire. And yet, unwilling to bow down before the emperor, he affirms that the Lord is king on the throne. We also know about the imperial cult. The ruler was almost calling himself God. Temples were built for the emperor. People were called to worship the emperor and to resist the pomp and glory of the imperial cult was not easy. This was a visible imagery of pomp and glory. And to counter that, John is trying to present before us a much more precious imagery of the heavenly king. Worship is a celebration of God, the throne of God over every other thrones. It's a celebration of the faith of the people. What does John write in chapter 4 specifically? Some of the imageries would help us reflect on our own worship lives. Primarily, John writes, I saw a door opened in heaven. And that is the crux of worship. Being able to see heaven opened. Being able to behold the glory of God. Being able to worship God in all the holiness. Being able to see the cherubs and the seraphim singing holy, holy, holy. Being able to see the heavenly visions is the celebration of the faith of the people. When we read further, we read John writing, I heard an ethereal voice telling me, come up here, I'll show you the things that would happen. Yes, worship is listening to that ethereal voice, inviting us to come, come up here, come to the presence of the Lord, come to the presence of the divine, come to the throne of grace, come experience the presence of the Lord. Celebration of faith is experiencing the presence of the Lord. This wonderful imagery of worship, John writes saying, as I saw that, as I heard that, I was in the spirit. Friends, faith is all about this experience in the faith where you are able to transcend mundane realities, when you are able to experience what does it mean to be in the spirit. For Jesus Christ very clearly told us, God is spirit and they that worship God should worship in truth and in spirit. And it was this filling of the spirit, empowering of the Holy Spirit, uplifting of the Holy Spirit that John experiences as part of his worship. And then he presents before us the throne and the one seated on the throne. Vividly, John then explains the glory of the thorn. Jasper and Cornelian and all the beauty of emerald. 
He then explains to us what it means to have a rainbow around the throne. What a clear as crystal around the throne. 21 elders sitting in thrones around him, crowns on their head. What an imagery of the splendor of the heavenly kingdom. Friends, in a context where the imperial rulers tried to present a worldly splendor, here is John presenting a much bigger splendor. splendor. Faith able to see beyond everything that the world can offer and see the glory of God beyond that, the kabod beyond that. He then talks about the four creatures, the lion and the ox and the human and the flying eagles, but all of them. The beauty of worship is shouting out, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. And that, friends, is the essence of worship, essence of the celebration of the faith of the people. I worship a God who was, the creator, the sustainer, the author of history, the author of everything, the author of the now. I worship a God who is alive, present, active, engaging. I worship a God who is to come. He is talking about perhaps the second coming, but more beyond, a God of the future. A God into his hands, I commit my future. Worship is all about singing holy, holy, Holy Lord God Almighty. Worship is entrusting our entire being into God's mighty hands, not just bringing a shopping list before God. Then we have a powerful imagery of the 24 elders casting their crowns before the Lord God Almighty. It is a beautiful expression of surrender. It's a beautiful expression of submission. It's a beautiful expression of worship. Friends, yes, worship is all about complete surrender and humility before the mighty presence of the Lord. It's all about it's all about giving up all that is ours, our sins, our baggages, our crowns, our throne, our achievements, everything, submitting it all before the Lord in humility. And finally, the text says, worship is in that experience of humility, singing the song Axios. You are worthy, O Lord, our God. You are worthy to receive glory, honor, power, and praise. You created everything around us. By your will, they came. You are the creator. You are the sustainer. You are the one who holds it all together. You are worthy. Worship is people celebrating their faith, acknowledging the glory of the Lord. Yes, worship has its own manifestations, expressions of faith in the world around us. But the essence of worship, the essence of worship is beholding heaven's opening hearing voices from above, inviting us to come and see the splendor of the throne. Worship is acknowledging our smallness, putting our thrones before, our, our crowns before the Lord and singing, holy, holy, holy. It is acknowledging 
you were, you are, and you shall be. And it is experiencing that awe and beauty before the rainbow of the throne. The one on the throne. In chapter 5 we see the one on the throne is the broken lamb, Christ Jesus. And looking at that broken lamb, broken for the salvation of you and me, crying out, you are worthy. And listening to that wonderful voice saying, as the Father has sent me, I send you. Go, go proclaim the kingdom. Go proclaim and live the kingdom. Let's pray. Gracious Lord, we thank you for reminding us. Worship is a celebration of the faith of the people. Help us to be liberated from worldly expectations of worship, rites and rituals of worship, and to worship you, beholding you in truth and spirit, listening to you, seeing the throne, the emerald rainbow, and the crystal clear water, the lamb on the throne, the wounded lamb on the throne. Holy, 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 may that be our song. You are worthy, may that be our acknowledgement. Bowing down, prostrating before the throne, may that be our experience. Being filled in the spirit, may that be our worship reality. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We now have a closing hymn. together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with each one of us now and forevermore. Amen.